Hello, welcome to the Board Book Geek. I'm a self-confessed J.R.R. Tolkien geek. I always have been, and the Tolkien Society has proven not only is it out of touch, but it also has no comprehension or understanding of Tolkien's legacy or work, and the deconsecration of his work is absolutely disturbing to witness and see. Let's start this show, shall we? I think in the last few years, especially in the last sort of... I want to say since the 2000s, the Tolkien Society seems to have gone out of its way to deconsecrate Tolkien. To project modern ideals in works that really don't need it. We know the basis of his work. We have the notebooks. We have his inspiration. Be them Christian, be them Catholic, be them Norse pagan, be them arthurial, be them British folklore... Tolkien's work serves as the base for most modern high fan actually all modern high fantasy, even the generic YA that's reskinned, that's basically a love story and a revenge fantasy. Because it's stunning and brave, please. The Tolkien Society have not only proven themselves to be out of date and out of touch with Tolkien fans, they also have proven themselves never to be really Tolkien fans themselves in the last few years. The Tolkien Society started as almost a, just a club that loved Tolkien, but now it's coming down to transitioning of Gandalf, transgender in Lord of the Rings. No, that's not part of it. Your discussion is void and mute. These air quote scholars and people that are in this group, the Tolkien Society now, and running these discussions, at best kind of like his work, at worst want to destroy it, and want to deconsecrate it, take away the legacy that he created. The Tolkien Society used to be a force of good, but their sort of outdated understanding and approach, and the hilariousness over that picture situation, like, it might be a copyrighted image, but it's it's very complicated. You can replicate, and it's very... Photography copyrights are a thing. The fact that they do make an air quote small amount of money from co copyrighted material, my opinion is they shouldn't own anything to do with Tolkien. My opinion is they've needed to go for the last 10 years, and I've wanted to talk about this in numerous videos, but now felt like the right time. The Tolkien Society have turned, gone full woke, deconsecrated the, his legacy and are fundamentally out of touch and disconnected from the f real fans of Lord of the Rings. The Tolkien Society is a bunch of middle-class scholars who know nothing about their life, who know nothing about the works and nothing about the creation of the Lord of the Rings. I think we're at a presser point where the fact that they didn't like the pushback and went private is not only hilarious, but also very telling at the people that run them. They're weak. And at the end of the day, there's going to be criticism. There's going to be criticism for your actions, and there's going to be many other things. But destroying the legacy of Tolkien has been on the agenda for so many people. And it's depressing to see... I see it with the YA readers on here, screaming how amazing this fantasy book is and how we need to get rid of all the white men. Oh, please. You're reading Avatar The Last Airbender fan fiction, mostly, with a love story. It's just... Your YA will never stand up to that level of brilliance and genius and depth that Tolkien created. Tolkien is the backbone for high fantasy... And he, and I said this in another video, Robert E. Howard is also the backbone of a lot of modern fantasy. But Tolkien set the standard. And it's important that we remember that. You may not like his work, you may not get on with it, you may not have the reading comprehension to understand it, unless it's a false-fed narrative in a YA novel. But you have, you cannot ignore it. The Lord of the Rings is functionally the backbone of most of it. And sadly, the Tolkien Society are going out of their way to obliterate it, and want to, and they want to destroy it. The modern 
Gen Z kids that view everything that is problematic, view everything outside of their small world view as problematic. The Tolkien Society has descended into a bunch of idiots who have basically gone out of their way to obliterate a legacy. Having read The Lord of the Rings and countless other books and countless other things to do with Tolkien, to do with the world, to do his unfinished tales, his notebooks, his journals, his letters, it's very easy, once you know where to look, to understand his work and dissect it. But don't do it through the Tolkien Society. The Tolkien Society want nothing more than your money and destruction. The Tolkien Society have been detrimental to the legacy of J.R. Tolkien himself.